and it's now one of my favorite parts of the day when we climb up into bed and get under our down comforter. Underneath the red light? Yeah, underneath. Roxanne, you don't have to turn on the red light. Okay, let's not ever this do that again. Ever I do that again. <laughs> Morning. Morning, babe. Love you. I love you too. How'd you sleep? I slept so well. Yeah? Yeah, you kept me warm. Hmm. What time is it? I think it's just after seven. Oh my gosh, Caspian let us sleep in. I know. <laughs> you must be cozy too. Welcome back to our Overlanding 101 series. Many of you have asked us what a normal day looks like for us. That's exactly what we're going to show you. We're calling this video a day in the life of full-time overlanding. All right, babe, it's 43 out and the high is 61 in this area, but we're probably heading to Durango for at least for the first part of the day. And it looks like it's going to be around 84 in the afternoon. And then looks like it's going to be a pretty nice day in Durango today. And no rain in the forecast whatsoever. So we're good to go. Did I sleep in? You did sleep in, baby. Do you want to say good morning to everybody? Hi. Just in case you want to see what good what a day is like for us. We're going to show it to you today. All right. What are you most excited about? I don't know yet because we haven't done it. Even. We are just starting it. What do you want to wear? Hey, love, can you pass me my, um, my cool pants and one of my snap shirts? All right. Thanks, babe. This is our bed. Normally when Brittany gets up and passes me up our clothes, Caspian tends to sneak up into our bed because it's nice and warm while Brittany gets uh, things ready for breakfast. And then I start my journaling process and I keep my journal right up here. And there it is. Every morning when I write in my journal, I capture uh, several things. I capture the date, the conditions, the high and low temperatures for the day, the sunrise and sunset, our location, the latitude and longitude, and our elevation before I write my journal entry. The information for Latin long I usually get off my phone or my watch, and that's how I start my morning. We have these six little pockets up here in our bed and Brittany gets three and I get three. We keep different things in there and in this pocket is where I keep everything that I have to take downstairs with me. So I'm going to get loaded up and headed downstairs. Well, hello there, sunshine. Hey, good morning. This morning finds us in the San Juan National Forest, just a few off-road miles off the million dollar highway between Ure and Durango. And uh, I'm gonna show you our campsite real quick, just so you get an idea of where we like to camp. So we found this great little disturbed campsite surrounded by aspens and pines. There was a little fire pit already made here and someone was kind enough to leave some wood for us so we had a nice little fire last night oh and we forgot our lighter and then back over there there's another campsite back there that's also disturbed that's probably large enough for like five vehicles this is a great campsite really happy the air is crisp and we are really enjoying this space um, you'll notice we didn't set up our shower cube a lot of people have been asking us about bathroom facilities and whatnot. We didn't set it up because we are in nature and there is nobody around us. So we'll just go out in nature and do our business out there. 
We have no agenda today other than to live life and enjoy it. We have nine days now until Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona, which we are so excited about. So we're just kind of taking our time making our way from the San Juan Mountains of Colorado to Flagstaff. We'll see where today takes us, but first, a little breakfast. Not quite, sweetie. It'll be on soon. She's getting it ready right now, sweet boy. Caspian, what is your normal breakfast? Blueberries, egg, toast, cereal. Mmm. And sometimes chocolate milk. Have you been giving him chocolate milk for breakfast? I have not been giving him chocolate milk for breakfast. I think that's wishful thinking. Mommy said order up. I'm bringing it to you. Here's your sweet toast. Make sure you say your prayers, okay? Holy Jesus, I pray for my back to my bond and name. I pray amen. Is he yummy? Mm-hmm. I think you've turned into a Coloradan. Why? Because you oh, got Chacos like... with socks. Look at this. This is like the biggest fashion faux pas in my opinion. But Brittany says it's like really a Colorado thing and she fits right in. It's super practical. My feet are warm. Caspian has had his toast and his egg, and now he's getting ready to have cereal. So this is what life looks like pretty much every day for us in the morning. We just uh, wake up get dressed, do our business sometimes out in the wild, get breakfast set up and uh, have some time together. Uh, later on, we'll pack down and we'll show you that in just a little bit and then we'll get out on the road. I have a milk mustache still. <laughs> hey, keep doing that. Keep doing that? Why? I like it. Hmm. Hmm. Thomas's, or are they all different little trains? Well, they said they were mini Thomas trains. Well, none of these look like Thomas because this one does Neither of them have a one on them. Hey, Caspian, tell me about this trail that you found. So, it's a hiking trail that I'm really eager to go on. Oh yeah? Do you want to do it? Yes. Let's do it. Show us the way, Caspian. Just a morning pajama hike. So <laughs> basically, it's at the place where the big fire was. Oh, where you I'm 
a slow guy. <laughs> Wait, not me. Can you go behind me because I'm leaving? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, baby. I'll go behind you. I really don't know where it is. Is this is this your trail, Caspian? Yeah. So, Daddy, just be a little careful because 10 blocks down the trail, there's a lot of roots, so just watch your step. 10 blocks down the trail, there's a lot of roots? Yeah. Okay, all right, let's go. 10 blocks means just like a little halfway. Okay. Wow, look at these aspen trees. Captain. They're huge. Look at this. Wow. I was looking at this. They're beautiful. Look yeah. at that. Wow. I was saying they were so tall. And Daddy, look at this cute little aspen tree. Yeah, that's a baby aspen tree. It's going to grow big and tall like the other ones probably. But wow, you found a whole aspen forest, Gaspian. Let's go. Keep going. Now, how far did you go down by yourself? Right into the roof part. You went all the way down here by yourself? Yeah. Where were Mommy and Daddy while you were doing this? Over there. Oh, okay. This is why you mean see there's a lot Oh, of yeah, this is 10 blocks down. So, so just watch your step in this part of the trail, right? Okay. I don't know if this is an out and back or a loop. You don't know if it's an out and back or a loop? Okay, and I... Okay. It looks probably like an out and back. Why? Because we're not doing any loops. <laughs> Why? Because it's going to be too far, baby. We're already really far. So right up that hill, Dauntless is there, right? That's right. Dauntless so is right up that hill. So you're very far. This is fun. What's that? We're out in a meadow. We're out in a meadow. That's right. Caspian is quite an adventurer. Sometimes he finds the coolest stuff. He went, apparently he went partway down this trail while Brittany and I were up at Dauntless doing stuff at camp. And he just discovered this gorgeous aspen grove. I really hope this video footage does it justice because wow, right outside our camp, It's like a magical fairyland. It's time to start packing up camp. Get started with our day. Are these baby aspen? They are, baby. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm hugging baby aspen. <laughs> Gonna go here on the floor for now. This is what a day is like for us, and we are recording it pretty much the whole day. Sure does. And that's good, right? Mm -hmm. ah! Ready for the goose gear piece, baby?
Mary Caspian, let's pray for our day. Dear Lord God, we love you, we give you praise, and we thank you for this day. We ask that you command your angels concerning us and guard us and protect us, Lord God, that we'd have a great day. And we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, so I can pull forward. There's that low branch up there. You see that one on the left? On the right, too. Or I could just back out, which is probably going to be. Back out if I were you. Let's do that. I was saying no, we could we could drive full turn and then do it like a U turn and then go that way. Is that what you think? All right, so we've just left our campsite, and today we're headed towards Durango, Colorado. Um, although we have some friends in Cortez, some dear friends of ours, uh, Clark and Lynn Benelli, who have a ranch down there called Mutiny Ranch, who've invited us to stay with them. So we may stay somewhere in between, or we may just go all the way to see our friends. Either way, we're going to see our friends soon. And uh, they got animals and stuff down there, so I think Caspian would like that. Um, but we don't really have a plan for today. We know that we need to be at Overland Expo West on the 23rd, is that right? Yes. On Thursday the 23rd. And so we just have like a bunch of time to just explore and have fun. And that's what we're doing. So we'll see what today holds. What are your thoughts, Brittany? Yeah, we're just looking forward to getting some work done later and uh, this trip along the Million Dollar Highway. If it's as beautiful as it was coming through your ray, then we're in for a really beautiful day. What kind of work do you need to do? I need to look at some national park tickets, and I need to maybe look at some Patreon stuff. Oh, that's right. People have been asking us to start a Patreon. We've kind of been pushing it off a little bit because, I don't know, but uh, we might do that. You see this Caspian when the aspens really start to change color? Look at them. Look how beautiful so they are. Beautiful. So beautiful. Holy cow. Yeah, there's red and yellow and green all together. Wow. Pretty amazing, huh? Maybe you, there's some ways that you can have all the colors at one time. So Caspian, when you're driving off-road, it's really important to take good lines and that means to pick the smoothest part for your vehicle and the safest part for your vehicle so that's why daddy backed up there for a second on that last little bit because i saw a better line do you understand mm -hmm. all kinds of rockiness right here the efforts we take to make these videos, you guys, it does take a lot of effort. Brittany's walking up the trail right now just to get a shot of Dauntless coming around the corner. We're not professionals at this, but we are just trying to show you what our daily life looks like. And obviously we don't record like this daily where I'm like, hey babe, do you wanna walk around the corner and get a shot of Dauntless coming around the corner? But she does. And uh, so, you know, give her a comment let her know thank you if you guys appreciate these videos because uh, we really do this for you guys we didn't see a single other vehicle on this road um there was that one vehicle that was parked well yeah i'm coming in i didn't see any people though no but that was almost right near 550 yeah right when we turned off And it's so beautiful out here. So nice to be able to be able to get out to these spots, you know? Yeah. Even the drive back to the highway is beautiful. I'm really glad that we decided to keep driving past the pin on I Overlander. Yeah. All the campsites were right off 550. Yeah. And we just made the by we I mean you made the decision to <laughs> let's go further in. You're always the adventurous one, Brittany. And for those who don't know who are watching this, I'm not even sure this clip's gonna make it. It was Brittany's idea to drive around the world, not my idea, so. I feel like it was both of your ideas. Well, I kind of agreed with mommy. Well, but you it, did agree with me, but, fortunately. Well, it was either that or you were going by yourself, so. <laughs> so, like, you decide to do it together, right? That's right. 
And look, Caspian, we made it to the highway. It's just up this little hill right here. Back onto the pavement. Am I clear on no the right? No one's coming. No, I'm clear? Uh -huh. Okay. Normally, um, we'd be listening to music as we drive and that type of thing, but obviously for copyright stuff, we can't do that on YouTube, but normally we're jamming out a little bit. Right now, Brittany is reading her Bible and doing her quiet time. Caspian's in the back recording video on his little tablet. Someday, I hope that Caspian will actually record videos that we'll put up on our channel. And uh, if he's into it, I mean, I'm not going to push him into it. If he wants to do it, I'll encourage him and help him edit and do all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we're just driving to Durango right now, and uh, we'll see what the future holds. In typical fashion, we have arrived in the town, and we are pr looking for a coffee shop that Brittany found that uh, she's going to get some work done at. We've dropped Brittany off the coffee shop, and Caspian and I are by ourselves. Say hi, Caspian. Hi. And now we are headed to somewhere special. Do you know where, Caspian? No. Neither do I. Well, I kind of do. You're going to find out, though. All right, Caspian, that was a bust. Uh, sometimes, you know, people think we've got it all figured out. We don't. We just kind of do research, talk to locals. But I think I found another place that I think you're going to like, Caspian. You ready to go? If that one doesn't work out, we're not going to give up. We're going to look for another place, right? That's right, son. So should we go do that? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Wait, hand. Yeah. All right, this place is called Dough Works. Yeah, go through that door. What? Basically, all your favorite sprinkled donuts. Do you see one you like? I'm probably not going to have it. I'm going to have this. You want that one? Okay. You ready for it? Yeah. Oh boy. But Daddy, wait. You're the first to say prayers. Yeah, we will. Mmm. That looks super yummy. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. All right, let's pray. Holy Jesus, we pray for we bless you, our Father, in your name we pray, amen. Amen. Enjoy it, son. You enjoy yours. <laughs> Nobody else in the parking lot, and this guy's going to park like that close to us, so we can't even get in the vehicle. How nice is that? Let me see if I could squeeze in. Caspian, this is a really cool place. So sometimes when we're out and Brittany's at a coffee shop, I've got a few things that I've got to get done as well. And we'll go to a playground where Caspian can go to the playground and meet some other kids and have fun. And I'll hang out by the Jeep and get some work done kind of while I'm watching him as well. And it gives us all the best of what we need. So there he goes and I'm off to do some work. So I'm not very handy, but one of the things Brittany has asked me to do is to fix this little thing on her seat belt. So right here, you can see this little flap has just come unglued. And this is about as handy as I get. I got super glue. I'm gonna take care of that for Brittany. All right, even in that, it's not the prettiest job. I managed to get super glue on my fingers. It kind of went through this thing, but Hopefully it'll dry and Brittany will be happy with it. And the next thing is also for Brittany. So while Caspian's busy playing on the playground, I'm able to sit out here in the shade with these nice views, some traffic noise behind me, but who cares? And Brittany has asked me to 
put a new Camelback bladder in my old Camelback, which she uh, wants to repurpose and use for herself. So Caspian will play, I'll get this done, and then we'll go pick up Brittany and maybe find a place for lunch. So this new bladder that we got for the Camelback is the right size bladder for this bag, but this bag is so old that the bladder doesn't really fit. And this is why I just went up ahead and bought a brand new Camelback. But Brittany is pretty frugal and she's gonna make this work and she's gonna be like, it works just fine. So that's the difference between Brittany and me. I guess I'm a little more high maintenance, but for what it's worth, I got it done for her and it's all set, new tube new nozzle and everything. Well, we just left the playground. I got those things done for Brittany and now we're headed back to pick her up and see where she wants to go to lunch. That's our next stop. How was your work time, babe? It was good. Yeah? Yep, got a lot done. Is there a nice coffee shop? Yeah, it was awesome. This is called 11th Street Station and it's all uh, food trucks. And the coffee was amazing. All right, we've parked. And Brittany has found us a lunch spot. Let's go, Caspian. So what's this place called, babe? Taco Libre. Taco Libre. We getting ready for Mexico? So, Caspian, what's behind you? What are those? <laughs> that is, it's a Mexican wrestler. You can have two. Okay. Mm. Really good. What do you think of Durango? Well, so far, I'm a really big fan of Durango. That coffee shop, Taste Coffee, that I went to was awesome. It was like one of the best coffees I've ever had. I had a mocha with oat milk. And there was a guy with a British accent who made it, so that made it taste better too. And then there was this- Do you have a thing for the guy with the British accent? I have a thing for him, but I liked his accent. And then they had this big patio out back and it was really quiet and beautiful. Hmm. Got a lot of stuff done. And now what are you doing? And now I have a margarita. Doesn't get much better than that. And we're half a block down the street. So multiply that out by a whole city and it's a pretty good city. This is the plate of Nachos Libre al Pastor. And Caspian got a quesadilla. We're still waiting on Brittany's street tacos. They should be here any moment. The al Pastor is really moist and good, just the way I like it. As silly as it sounds, it's actually common practice after lunch to use their restrooms wherever we're staying or wherever we've eaten, so. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to get it on film. I wanted you to know that's part of a day in life. With lunch complete, we are headed back to Dauntless and we are going to go over some of the work that Brittany did in the Jeep. Caspian will get a little bit of rest time and then we'll head out and find our camping spot for the night. Got some folks who are stopping by to check out our camper while we're doing it. That's not unusual. A lot of people are very interested in it and stop by to check it out all the time. Going to get you on video for our YouTube. What do you think? Yeah? You like it? Awesome. And you just got a gladiator? Yeah. Very cool, man. Well, this is a great setup, and uh, if you got any questions, I'm happy to answer them for you. Awesome. Awesome. One of the things Brittany has been working on is our newsletter that goes out to our subscribers. You can sign up for that on our website at ourlesslife.com, and uh, she's drafted it. We're going to review it. One of the things we've been working on is our Patreon. You guys have been asking for it, and so we're going to try it. We're going to put it out there. We haven't really decided on all the tiers yet, Brittany, but we're going to talk about that tonight yeah, at our campsite on it today. and figure out how we got, we can give you guys a little something extra behind the scenes or something. And bottom line, guys, we just want to travel the world, and we'd love to take you with us. And if you want to get behind us, that'd be amazing. So that's something else to look forward to. We are leaving lunch and we are headed to a grocery store, probably to pick up a couple little things, but also to do a Western Union. One of my cousins in Mexico 
has been taking care of a family that got hit really hard by COVID. And unfortunately, the kids were orphaned. They lost both their parents. And so uh, we've been doing a little bit here and there to help as we're able, and we're gonna send them a little something um, for some medicines and stuff that the, the kids need. And then we are gonna find the uh, campground of our dreams or campsite. It's not even a campground, it's camps. We don't even know where we're going. We're going to some forest service road somewhere or we'll camp for the night. So that's the plan. It is about 2.30 in the afternoon and Caspian takes a rest time from about 1.30 to 3.30. He doesn't always sleep depending on what we're doing, but it's a good time for him to get refreshed and for us to have some quiet time too, especially when we have some work to do in the afternoon. We're now on Highway 160 headed west from Durango towards Cortez. We found a little uh, national forest land in the San Juan National Forest that we're gonna go check out for tonight. And then maybe tomorrow we'll head up to Mesa Verde National Park and then go stay with our friends Clark and Lynn tomorrow night. So we'll see how it all goes. Go through a little bit of private property before you get here, but here's the entrance to the San Juan National Forest. Looks like somebody else is out here. And we have no idea where we'll camp yet, but we will find a spot. So we are parking and the Jeep has this little pitch and roll where we try and get as close to zero and zero as possible. All right, we got it to one and one. That's pretty close and so we'll call it a day. So we just pulled in. This is gonna be our site. We're gonna set up camp and show you how it's done. That's what our typical setup looks like. Uh, as you can see, Brittany's done the interior. I've done most of the exterior and now we're ready to camp. Welcome to our campsite. Brittany's got our camp kitchen set up, our stove sitting there on the table, and we are ready to go. Time to relax. So this is part of normal life. Brittany is doing all of our receipts. You not easy in the way. <laughs> she gets so annoyed at me because she starts doing them and then I just hand her another stack for my wallet. But 
it's part of daily life and now it's time to go wake up Caspian. One of my favorite parts of the day, but I try and be gentle. Sweet boy, Caspian. Hi, baby. Hi. Come see our campsite. Good job. Come here, baby. Daddy will help you down. <laughs> what you doing, baby? I'm reading. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I started a new book. What's this about? It's called Sea of Cortez by John Steinbeck. Mm. You may not have known, but Steinbeck went into the Sea of Cortez between Baja and interior Mexico, and he collected specimens, and he wrote a scientific book about it. Are you having a nice time in Caspian's bed? Yeah. You got all the loveys? Yeah. And big kitty. Cuddle can. Black and white kitty. Little baby. Uh, who was that? That goody, was goody, 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 goody gumdrop scruffy and Sweet Love. Sweet Love. All right. Brittany didn't feel like cooking, and she doesn't always feel like cooking, so my dinner consisted of cheese and pistachios and olives, which I don't really care for. Brittany decided to make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so I do get a little bit more for dinner, which is good because I'm still a little hungry. And Caspian's dinner consisted of green beans, bell peppers, and tomatoes. What do you think, Caspian? Is it yummy? Mm-hmm. All right. The earth is rotating around the sun held by the sun's gravity and the moon is rotating around the earth held by the, the earth's gravity and remember how the same side of the moon is always facing earth mm -hmm. why because that's the way it sits baby all right it's time to clean up little nomad for bed got this huge venture wipe it's a 12 by 12 and this is part of our nightly ritual come here, buddy. <laughs> come here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Caspian come on nobody can see you when you do that silly all right let's see how we're doing We've it's done me your sideways hands. oh look at that oh my goodness oh this tower goodness see that yeah I hope you've been enjoying a day in the life overlanding. This is pretty much what a typical day looks like for us. And now Caspian's getting ready for bed and it's story time. Uh, he's been cleaned off with the venture wipe. He's brushed his teeth and uh, now he's enjoying a little story time with mommy. Come and find me, she called. Hmm, said Katie Dent. I don't see Bunjitsu Bunny, but I do see her ears. I know, I still look like a bunny, said Isabel. Maybe she could go underwater. Maybe. Oh, could we read this chapter? We'll read that one next, okay? So we will read it, though? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oops, sorry. It is a very windy day today, said Teacher. Oh, Jesus, I pray for that day, and I pray that tomorrow be even better. And I pray that such a beautiful day, Lord, in your name, I pray amen. Amen, baby. All right, you ready to do your verses? All right, let's hear them. In the beginning was the word, which was with God, the word was God, which was God in the beginning. All things were made through him, and 
from without anything made was made in him was life and that life was the light of man the life shot the darkness and the darkness had not him there came a man sent from god whose name was john he came as a witness to bear witness about that all might believe through him he was not the light but came to bear witness about the light the true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world he was in the world and the world away through him Word did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But who all who did receive him believed in his name. He gave the right to be children of God who were born of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the world became flesh, and my we are see glory, glory of the only Son from the Father, for grace and truth in the name of Jesus. Very good. No helps, baby. Great job, baby. I hope you have a really good sleep. Mm -hmm. I love you. When mommy puts you to bed, I want you to lay down and close your eyes. Mm -hmm. It's been a long day. How do you feel about today? I liked our drive this morning. It's really beautiful, finishing the million dollar highway. Yeah, it's crazy that after so long that we've traveled around that we still haven't seen everything. Well, that's it guys a day in the life of full-time overlanding this is what it looks like thanks so much for being here for joining us and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and leave us a comment ask us your questions we will get back to you until next time